Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about Tri-State TTL. Tri-State TTL is quite important and uh, interesting also to study about this uh, Tri-State TTL. So, Tri-State. Tri-State is nothing but it is having three states. Tri-State is nothing but three states. What are the three states? One is logic high. Second one is logic low and the third stage is high impedance stage high impedance state or stage high impedance state okay logic high state logic low state or high impedance state we know very well what is logic high which is nothing but when output is equal to 1 logic low is 0 what do you mean by this Z condition? Z condition is either logic 0 nor logic 1. Suppose if you take a totem pole configuration, in the totem pole configuration in the TTL, see the output of TTL is a totem pole network. Don't forget this. Which is having two transistors and one diode. Okay, this is totem pole configuration. In this totem pole configuration, if let us consider this is Q1, Q2 and Q3, if Q1 is on, this is the output we are taking. If Q1 is on, then diode also in on, but Q2 will be in off state. This is the general scenario. Okay, it, the Q1 and Q2 will be acting in a push pull configuration. Okay, if Q1 is on, Q2 is definitely off. And output will become logic 1. And if Q1 is off, then Q2 is on. Then Q2 is on. When Q2 is on, output is equal to logic 0 because the output is connected to ground. This is ground and this is plus VCC. Okay. But here, the situation will occur in the tri-state ETL in such a way that we are connecting the construction, we are making the construction in such a way that Q1 and Q2, Q1, Q2 both will become off. Q1, Q2 both will become off. As both transistors Q1 and Q2 are in off state, the output V0 is high impedance state Z. The output V0 is high impedance state Z. This is the situation occurs in only tri-state ETL. We are making the tri-state ETL in such a way. To occur this impedance also. The purpose of this impedance I will explain in the coming slide. See here. This is the tri-state ETL circuit diagram. In tri-state ETL circuit diagram, we are having four transistors. Out of these four, two are in the totem pole configuration. Okay. T1 is the transistor which is connected at the input. T2 is an intermediate transistor, whereas T3, T4 are from the totem pole configuration. This is totem pole configuration. Okay. Totem pole output, totem pole network. Now, totem pole. Now, see here, first stage transistor is having a multi emitter transistor. T1 is a multi emitter transistor. In this multi emitter transistor, I am taking two emitter transistors. First emitter is connected to the input. This is the actual input. And the second emitter is connected at the enable pin. Second emitter is connected at the enable pin. And the output is taken from the totem pole configuration. This is about the circuit diagram. Additionally, when you compare the TTL network, TTL NAND gate, and this NAND, this circuit diagram is having additionally one diode D1 which is connected from the emitter of one uh, like a T1 transistor to the junction where the base of T3 is connected. See clearly. We are using a diode D1 between the emitter E2, E2, E2 is the emitter of T1 to the base of transistor T3. Okay. Now let us see the operation how it is acting as a tri-state TTL and see 
it is actually acting as an inverter but with a controlling signal as E enable okay it is acting as an inverter but with a controlling signal E so it is nothing but a controlled not gate we can say it is a controlled controlled not gate okay that means when enable is equal to 1 it is acting as inverter when enable equal to 0 it is not acting as inverter then output input and output may be high in state okay I will tell now let us see the operation when enable pin E is equal to 1 what happens when enable is equal to E enable is equal to 1 when enable is equal to 1, when enable equal to 1, here I am connecting one state as 1. That means this is the base, base to emitter 2, this is emitter 2, this is emitter 1. Base to emitter 2 junction is open circuit off. Base to emitter 2 junction is off because base is connected at the VCC and emitter 2 is connected at the 1, which 1 is nothing but plus 5 volts. So, either sides we are giving plus 5 volts, there is no potential difference. So, simply base to emitter junction is off circuit. And what about base to emitter 1? That depends upon the type of input we are giving A. If A is equal to 0, A is equal to 0 base to emitter 1 junction is a is equal to 0 base to emitter junction is on on because base to emitter we are having base is connected the plus 5 volts and emitter is connected the 0 potential ok so what happens now the current which is coming till this base now it is having a path to go into this towards input A from the junction base to emitter 1 ok so obviously what happens the transistor Q1 is set to be now in on state T1 is set to be in on state irrespective of either of this emitter CM E1 or A2 if any one junction is on we can say the transistor is in on state so what about the other case other case we don't have any current at the input of T2 so T2 is in off state T2 is in off state as T2 is in off state T2 is in off state as T2 is in off state there is no current entering into the T4 so T4 is also in off state what is the status of T3 see diode D1 must be off here because enable is connected to 1 enable is connected to 1 and here other side of this diode P type terminal is also connected to VCC so the diode D1 also off as diode D1 is also off the current is having a path to the input of the base of transistor T3 because T2 is in off state diode is in off state so current which is coming through this R2 has a path only towards T3 so T3 comes into T3 comes into on state T3 on what about the diode D on in totem pool configuration T3 and diode D on T4 off so output is equal to output is equal to what happens logic high ok and let us see other case when A is equal to 1 when A is equal to 1 A is equal to 1 this junction base to emitter 1 also of so as both the junctions of the current will be flowing to the T2 so T1 of T2 on as T2 on T4 on and what about T3 diode D D1 of course it is off only because we are not changing the enable so D1 of T3 of diode of so T4 on the output is equal to now output is equal to logic 0 because output is connected to ground through T4 ok so in this way when enable is equal to 1 it is acting as an inverter ok understand when enable is equal to 1 it is acting as inverter but what happens when enable is equal to 0 see here when enable is equal to 0 
when n able equal to 0 what is the status of diode d1 this is very important because the status of diode d1 only will alter the entire operation to make this as high impedance state see diode d1 when it is when n able is equal to 0 when n able equal to 0 diode d1 p type terminal is connected to plus 5 volts and n type terminal is connected to 0 so there is a potential difference between diode either terminals p and n so what about the diode d1 d1 comes into on state as d1 is in on state the current will be flowing through the diode d1 and goes to the enable so when enable equal to 0 d1 comes into on state so current flows current flows from vcc through what is the resistor we have r2 and d1 to the enable r2 d1 and enable okay so what about what about the transistor t3 now in order to make the t3 should be on we have a current flow from vcc to the input of t3 but as the transistor as the diode d1 is in on state t3 has no chance to become on so transistor t3 always off state when enable equal to 0 when enable equal to 0 transistor t3 is set to be off because diode d1 is in on state okay now what about this one what about this one when enable is equal when enable is equal to 0 i am giving here what is the base to emitter to base to emitter to when it is 0 this junction is always on this junction is always on so yes this junction is on t1 set to be in on state t2 off t4 off so t3 d off and as well as t4 also off output is high impedance state okay so that makes makes d also off now what is the problem where uh, the base to emitter to junction what happens now it is off on on that means t1 is in on state and t2 what is t2 t2 here it is in off state t4 off state t2 off state t4 off state because we, they don't have any current flow as t1 is in on state they don't have any current flow if t1 is set to be off then only the current will be flowing at the input of t2 that makes the transistor t2 and t4 both on but that is not the case here okay irrespective of the input a irrespective of the input a here these particular states are being forming here irrespective of irrespective of input a okay now see here t4 of state in totem pole configuration which is responsible for the making of output t4 of state t3 of state diode also off state so what is the output now see t4 off state t of t3 off so everything is off here so output is simply open circuit and nothing but high impedance state so output is equal to output is high impedance state output is high impedance state which is nothing but z okay see here this is the truth table for this ttl inverter and this is the data input a control e here control is nothing but enable pin and data output see irrespective of the input state when enable is equal to 0 output is high impedance state when enable is equal to 1 inverting action is taking place 0 gives output 1 and 1 gives output is equal to 0 this is called tri-state logic tri-state logic three states are there in the output one zero and high impedance okay this particular inverter is completely controlled by completely controlled by enable pin so when enable equal to zero 
I impedance state when enable equal to 1 it is acting as an inverter okay so when enable equal to 0 output is high impedance high impedance nothing but Z when enable equal to 1 output is inverting based on input okay thank you